Okay, friends, so I am back with another planner review. It's been a while since I've done a planner review and caught you up on how I'm doing my planner system and everything, and so I thought I would take you in for a look at the, um, it's not new, um, I almost said new, but the Michael's Recollection um, travel Traveler's Notebook type planner and tell you why I've switched to it. If you know me, you know, and you've seen my previous planner reviews, that's why most of you are subscribed to my um, channel, even though I've started to do a lot more crafts. But um, if you see my planner reviews and my planner DIYs and things like that, you know that I am a die-hard Erin Condren fan. I love them. I've had several, five or six, I don't know, a lot. Um, and um, this is the first year that I've kind of went away from Erin Condren. And it has nothing to do with their products because their products are amazing and I still love them but I'm trying to simplify things and make things smaller and I really just wanted something that I could take in my purse because I found that when I was out places um, my planner might be in the car but I may not have it in my purse or you know whatever or I would leave it in the car when I come in anyway I was always I always didn't have it and I always and I it's a life planner I use it for everything so um, yeah so I wanted something smaller my friend Cindy hey Cindy has um, been using a traveler's notebook for a long time she loves it she decorates it and everything and that's another thing is I've gotten away from doing a lot of decorating and more just planning just for the simpleness of it and the um, ease of it and um, and honestly just time I just haven't had the time but I love decorating with it and I feel like this is something you can decorate with or keep really simple. So let's do kind of an overview and review and tell you how I like it, what I like, what I don't, what I'm going to change and how it's working. Okay, so it is the middle of May and I, um, when I'm filming this, I'm not sure what week it will get uploaded because I try to schedule them out. And I've had this since the beginning of April or maybe the end of March, but I know I started using it at the beginning of April. So that's how long I've had to test it out. First, the cover. The cover is really nice. It's really, it's soft. I think it's a really good quality. I've heard a lot of reviews that say that it's flimsy. I don't know. I don't really have anything to compare it to as far as other traveler's notebooks, but I think that um, it's done really well for me. It's definitely held up for two months. I mean, again, it's only been two months, but it's held up. It's held up well. Um, so I love, I love the black color. It had a lot, they had a lot of really nice, um, colors and things. Um, this just happened to be my favorite. It was, um, something that I thought was elegant enough that I could use almost like as a wallet because a lot of people use it as that or as, as a planner and I could just carry it around with me, whether it's for fun or business or anything. This come with this cord. Um, I haven't had any, um, issues with the cord. It hasn't broke. It hasn't stretched out. I love it. It seems to work just fine. When you open it up, um, it comes with just like one notebook and I bought a, um, I bought a calendar or maybe it came with, I don't remember. I think it came with, um, one notebook and then I bought a, um, a calendar and a, like an extra notebook. It was like a two pack thing. So it has these this card section. Honestly, I have not used this um, just because I do keep all of my cards and things in um, in my normal wallet. Sorry for the glare, guys. Um, but I do think that for shows, craft shows, and just in general, um, I am going to put some business cards in here um, because um, I like being able to have those. Um, it does have a pocket here, which I think is really nice. Now, I will say that the back of this, you can tell it's just kind of um, paper. It's just kind of cardboard. But that's okay. Um, and, it, and then the inside is just like this like felt, like, you know, it's really soft. I'm not sure it's like a fake leather feeling. I really like it. So that is the inside. On the other side, you have like another pocket where you can um, slip things in. And then uh, you have a long one um, that I just haven't gotten one of those like long to-do note, notepads. But you can just definitely put... Um, put one there and I've just had plenty with the notebooks that I currently have in it and then this pen loop I have um I've heard some people complain about the pen loop I usually keep a pen in it, it doesn't have one in it at the moment but um it's a pen loop um I'm not sure I guess they want it really really high quality not had it broke off I haven't seen any others break off so I don't know what they're complaining about but anyway it's a pen loop guys it's a pen loop works great 
Okay, so honestly, and I, I know this is really bad for a review, but I don't remember which notebook it came with, if it came with the blank one or if it came with the dot grid one. I'm not sure, but it did, again, come with a um, notebook. So the two notebooks that I that I have in mind are, um, I love this one. It says, you and me, wild and free. And I just, I love that. I love the gold. I love the saying. I love the colors. It's so pretty. It is the like dot grid, which I'm not, um, I'm not like a big fan of. Like it's, it's okay. Like I just don't have any, um, any preference for it um, one way or another. I know a lot of people like it. Um, I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. Um, but anyway, so um, I like that. And I actually, one of the things I use that for is keeping um, just lists of things. Like I have a list of things um, that I want to film as far as YouTube ideas. I have um, information on um, different craft projects. I have, um, oh, I've got some information on some freezer cooking meals and things that I want to do. So it's just really nice to be able to jot that down. I'm going to save the calendar for last. And then in the back, I have a blank um, uh, notebook back there. And I'm, I love that because I'm able to just, I like just blank paper. I don't mind that it doesn't have lines or anything on that. I've got some things written down for some information for um, like things that I, I take care of for my dad and just different personal information that I need. Um, I don't keep anything too crazy personal because you never know when you lose it, but just some little notes to make me jog my memory of things that I might need. So I keep that and that's really nice. It's really nice to have two separate notebooks. I really enjoyed that. Um, otherwise you could put tabs in it or something like that. And then last but not least is the actual planner. Now this is the planner that, like I said, that I bought. It didn't, I did not come with the planner, um, with the, with the cover, but I, but I bought it. And now the thing I don't like about it is I am not a fan of undated planners. I like my planner to be dated, um, simply, simply because I'm trying to, flip to a month that isn't so crazy so you don't um that so you can't see like if I have like something I want to be gone to so okay so June I haven't filled out June yet so um so yeah so I had to date it myself which I don't know I mean I know it's not that big of a deal but I just tend to like a dated planner so I am I was disappointed that the only options were undated I don't know if they come out like maybe closer to January with a dated version um I will probably be looking on Etsy for me some that are already dated if you have an Etsy store and you have dated ones send me a link send me a link yes so um that is something that I just wasn't crazy about Another thing is I wish it had tabs. I did put these little page flags on and they work fine. They're just from the Dollar Tree and they haven't fell off or anything. But I like tabs for the months and they don't have tabs. Again, if you have tabs, that would be great. Um, a third thing that I don't like is apparently it's only like six months. And I get that it may be too, real thick, um, but I'm going to have to buy a second one for the rest of the year. Or maybe it's only four months. How many months was it? Look, let me look at here again. Let's see. We started in April. Let's see. We have April, May, June, July, August, and September. Yeah, so it's six months. So, um, yeah, it's... Um, it's only six months. I need a whole year because I do long-term planning because I do some events that um, they they are like in in the future. Like you, if you don't get in, sometimes the year before you don't get into the show the next year. And so I like long-term planning. So I really needed it to be an entire year. Um, a bit again not a big deal because you could just put in another one um so that's what i'm going to have to do it would have just been nice if it was all one book let me know do they make them all one book or do you just have to do the six months um also it does have a weekly section it's just like a horizontal type week again undated and that's another reason that i don't like the undated planners is sometimes i need to especially with the, the smaller the um 
the planner, the more I may need to write on the weekly section the details of a show. What time is set up, what time is tear down, what day is set up, because a lot of most of my shows I do, we set up like the day or two before. I need to know if there's parking issues. I need to know if there's um if I need a certain wristband or a certain ticket or a certain lanyard or something. I need to know some of these things. And a lot of times I'll keep the paper in, but it's nice to be able to quickly glance at it at my calendar and um, having it undated it's, it's just a lot of work I guess I could just sit down and date everything but I don't know this because I'm busy I want I want it dated um, I think it looks neater um, I don't have the best handwriting so maybe that's it um, that's my biggest complaint is that it's undated so send me a link if it's it, um, if you have one um, again, tabs, I do have some, uh, some binder clips that kind of keep things organized and things like that. So in a nutshell, that is my review of my uh, Michael's Recollection um, Travel's Notebook Type Planner. Um, the things I like, the things I don't like. Um, yeah, I, I'm loving the small compact size. I'm loving that it fits down in my purse real fine. I love that it's, um, it's bound up so I do, the pages, nothing's falling out, nothing's getting bent. I love all of that about it. I don't love that it does, isn't dated. I don't love that it's not 12 months. Um, and um, yeah, that, those are kind of my biggest pet peeves. Quality-wise, I think it's great. This is the first time I have used a traveler's notebook type system. I never thought that I would. I have always been a big um, a, a big advocate of the Erin Condren type spiral ring bounders. And Recollections does have a small spiral, spiral ring bounder um, planner. But I was, anyway, I, I was afraid that it might get bent in my purse or whatever. So we're trying this for now. You know me, I may be back in a couple months with a completely new planner review and a new system. But the thing about it is, is there's this time and a season for everything in life. And right now, this is what I need for my life. Um, this is the stage I'm in. When we were fostering and when I was in a different career, I needed like an entire binder that I could just take with me from place to place. And that worked fine and that's what I needed for my life at that point so this is what I need for my life at this point um, so and I know that life is always ever-changing and I I'm certain with by next year I may need something else and that's okay you just take it as you go I have also been trying to do more digital planning which is you not me I am normally like all about the paper but I've been trying to do that for for reminders and things so we're we'll see how we're working on that but anyway thanks for watching guys see you next time